Even when it rains, water is scarce on the Monterey Peninsula. That's because the area relies on the Carmel River for the majority of its water supply, which is subject to state regulations that require the community to reduce its dependence on the river by nearly 70% of historic levels by 2016. A sensitive habitat, the Carmel River is home to a threatened species of trout and requires protection. But at less than 50 gallons per day, Monterey Peninsula residents already have among the lowest per capita water consumption in the state means the only way to adequately reduce reliance on the Carmel River is to develop a new water supply. The Carmel River Steelhouse Association has long supported finding another water source for the Carmel River for the pe people on the modern peninsula. So yes, in, in the mind of the Carmel River Steel Association, that's the greatest thing that can happen would be to find a new water supply. There's a relationship between steelhead and water, <laughs> and without water, you won't have steelhead. That's the bottom line. And this river has been going dry for 20 years. And it's just amazing that you know we still have a species here. It just shows how the species can be so adaptable, so dynamic, it's such a wonderful species that um, they survive no matter what we've thrown at them, they've survived. And you know, it'd just be a shame not to you know, give them a chance to come back. Um, when my dad was a young man and fished the Carmel River in the late 30s and 40s, he figured he could hook and land 150 fish a year. When I was a young man, which was a long time ago, <laughs> in the late 60s and 70s, I figured if I could hook 30 or 40 fish, it was a good year. My son never caught a fish on the Carmel River. So how long has it been a problem? <laughs> you know, since before the 60s, the numbers have been going down. It just it went down so gradually that we didn't really notice it until we started, you know, geez, it's not like it used to be 20 years ago. So it's, um, it's a beautiful river and it deserves all the help we can give it. The Carmel River has been named one of the 10 most endangered rivers in America. The primary cause of it being listed this way is the overdrafting of the river by Cal Am to supply the water needs of the Monterey Peninsula residents. And this overdrafting uh, has de severely degraded the fish rearing habitat and the riparian habitat where other uh, wildfowl and, uh, and other um, wildlife lives. This Carmel River has been written about uh, with reverence by some famous authors, Robert Louis Stevenson, Jack London, and John Steinbeck all of whom described how beautiful the river was, how full it was of water most of the year, and how, uh, how many fish were in the water, thousands of fish they described. To rectify the situation uh, of the overdrafting and its effects on the river, uh, we, need a, we critically need a new water supply. And uh, I look forward to working uh, as the head of the Conservancy with Cal Am and other agencies in trying to find a new water supply for the peninsula that will reduce the over-reliance on pumping from the Carmel River. The Monterey Peninsula Water Provider, California American Water, has proposed a project that would solve the overdraft of the Carmel River. A combination of desalination, aquifer, storage, recovery, and groundwater replenishment, the Monterey Peninsula Water Supply Project would ensure a reliable water supply for the people of the Monterey Peninsula and comply with state laws that protect the river. We've been working on a portfolio of projects to solve the peninsula's water supply problem. We are working with local public agencies like the Monterey Peninsula Water Management District to expand aquifer storage and recovery, which takes Essex flows from the Carmel River in the wintertime and stores them in the seaside basin for use in the summer. We're also working with the Monterey Regional Water Pollution Control Agency to develop a groundwater replenishment project which will apply advanced treatment methods to the plant effluent before injection in the seaside groundwater basin. If this project can come online before 2016, when we are required to significantly reduce our withdrawals from the Carmel River, we can make the desalination facility half the size of what was originally planned. California American Water has filed an application with the California Public Utilities Commission to approve this suite of projects. The desalination facility is proposed in North Marina. It would rely on slant well technology, which avoids impacts to marine life by drawing seawater and brackish water 
from beneath the ocean sand. Uh, completion of the Monterey Peninsula Water Supply Project is a major focus of our company. We feel we've arrived at the solution and that will meet the approval of state, local, and federal regulators. I'm very proud of the work my team has done to control the interest costs during construction and that will lower costs to our customers and ultimately result in lower rates. California American Water has been in business for decades. American Water has been in business for over 125 years. We have the technical and engineering expertise to deliver and operate this project once it's, once it's online. Approval of the Monterey Peninsula Water Supply Project will require permits, review, and consideration of public input by multiple government agencies. For more information on the project, visit watersupplyproject.org.